Lost Odyssey is the next uber-hyped role-playing game on the horizon, and its shadow looms large. The company behind the game, Mistwalker, is bringing a lot of talent to the table. Headed up by the father of Final Fantasy, Hironobu Sakaguchi, the project boasts other staff connections to the Final Fantasy series, as well as the developers behind the less famous Shadow Heart series. There's a lot of effort going into the game, and it just might pay off. Battle systems, leveling up, and character designs are important, but a good role-playing game can really use a good backstory. With an immortal main character who's been around for a thousand years, Lost Odyssey has that angle well covered, and by an award-winning Japanese novelist, no less. You may not have heard of Kiyoshi Shigematsu, but apparently the guy knows what he's doing. My memories seem to flood my dreams. Are they just dreams? So who is this long-lived immortal hero? His name is Kayim, and although he's lived lifetimes, he's unable to remember his past. The world is in the middle of a mystical industrial revolution, which means there are people casting fireball spells in addition to giant mechanical tanks. Kayim soon finds himself hooking up with a group of individuals that will help him through the turbulent times and reclaim his lost memories. Okay. Other than a blank slate for the main character, what can we expect to find when Lost Odyssey crosses the ocean? Tradition and production values are front and center. Grandiose scenery and architecture provide a suitable backdrop for an epic adventure, showing off technical muscle and artistic style. But when it comes down to gameplay, Lost Odyssey definitely hails from the old school with turn-based combat. Past the basics of choosing what enemy to attack and which techniques or spells to use, Lost Odyssey uses a ring system that adds a timing element to battles. Each character can equip a special ring that adds an additional effect to their normal attacks, whether it's increased power or an elemental attribute. To take advantage of this, you'll have to hold down the right trigger and release it when your attack ring overlaps the circle over the target. The better your timing, the more damage you'll deal. The battle system is traditional, but once you've gotten past the initial loading screen, things move pretty quickly. This is good because another RPG tradition, random encounters, are in full effect. You won't get into a scrap every five steps, but expect the game to put up plenty of resistance as you make your way through the story. Luckily, beefier frontline characters fuel a meter that helps buffer damage headed for weaker characters in the rear. Mortals and Immortals both level up as the experience points roll in, but only the Mortals learn useful skills such as healing or destructive magic. Mortals can, however, pass knowledge along to the Immortals by linking their skills, effectively letting you customize Kayim and his undying allies with an assortment of abilities from other party members. With an expected epic runtime of 40 plus hours and four discs of content to work through, there's definitely a lot more to find out about Lost Odyssey before its North American release in February. We'll continue to kick ass and recover memories, so stay tuned to Game Trailers for the full review.